I always wanted to play the piano, so I just used to tinkle around at home. And then I think I started lessons at about four or five. And then, because I wanted to play, I just I learnt. I think it was violin I went on to next, and then flute, and then I started on harp a few years later. So I was always practicing at home, and um, yeah, always going for lessons after school. <laughs> I did, you know, ballet and all that sort of thing as well, juggling classes and lots of random things. But yeah, it was music pretty much every day, and then I did orchestra at the weekend as well. But it was something I wanted to do, and I really enjoyed it. a very nice junior school where I was lucky there was quite a lot of music going on and that was mainly choir so lots of people then started singing I think everybody had to learn recorder then but I think that certainly did encourage quite a lot of people to take up instruments as well um, and there were quite a few good musicians at that school and then after that I went on to a comprehensive school for a few years and then I went to music school so that really was you know, full-time music from then on. When you get to the age of sort of 13, 14 and you realise that you're not going to be a brilliant musician, and you've got other projects, you know, other things to do, and you've got more schoolwork, and, and there just isn't the time maybe to do that as well. In fact, I teach now, and I've got a lot of children that are approaching that sort of age, and I'm seeing the signs that quite a few of them are going to start dropping out because, you know, some of them prefer ballet, so they're going to maybe spend more of their time doing that after school, or some of them are just more academic minded and they're going to apply themselves that way instead. I think there are a lot of people learning now, and I know there's certainly lots of schemes going on these days where they send people into schools to do workshops to you know, spark people's imagination and get them learning music. I know that schools now don't always have music lessons which probably makes it more difficult for children to realise they want to learn. Um, I know in private schools there certainly there will be more children learning than in state schools where there is maybe the opportunity. But I still think children do want to learn. I think if there was more opportunities, more would learn now. I do think every school should have a music teacher, even if it's just one of the class teachers who loves music and it just once a week has a singing session or you know, recorders or clapping or just something that um, teaches the children music. Because I do know so many schools don't have that anymore. And I, know, I remember music so fondly from junior school and you know, all the plays and musicals that we used to do and I just think it's a shame that schools don't always have that now. I can imagine that Maybe a teenage boy might find it difficult if their friends weren't learning. But again, I think the ones that really are keen will do it, whatever. And by that age, the ones that don't want to won't do it. So, I mean, in the end, there isn't actually that many jobs for musicians anyway. But we need people to learn to be good audiences, you know, because that's dying out. And we do need people that appreciate music. So, a sort of an early um, understanding of it and enjoyment of it will really help towards that.